What's up guys, welcome back to another video and D23 just wrapped up and if you know me, I'm a Star Wars fan. So if you missed D23 just like me, then you're in luck here because this is going to be a video completely breaking down every single trailer and basically what we got informed at D23, at least Star Wars was really um d23 but it did get released at least the official trailer while d23 was happening which is rebuild the galaxy and we also got three new posters here which honestly look amazing so there's one where it is leia and greedo because um han solo and greedo at the end at the beginning of episode four were in um the cantina one of those iconic scenes in and this um rebuild the galaxy i guess multiverse type of thing whatever it's supposed to be um greedo actually shot first and killed han and then han and or greedo actually greedo and um leia got together and i guess there had um kylo ren which is i guess would be good in this multiverse we'll have to see the show to find out but my um not really one of my favorites but there is one with jedi vader which i believe is a parody to the episode 7 poster where it was ray instead so he might play a role sort of like ray in the rebuild the galaxy and my favorite one the literal best poster ever which might even be just like my lock screen it's instead of um young anakin from episode one it's jar jar binks with a darth vader shadow behind him so basically all they did is swap um the young anakin with the jar jar and i think it is so smart so cool and honestly that poster makes me so excited for rebuild of the galaxy there's also this image here which is um basically alongside darth jar jar a bunch of other characters got sithified if you will one of those characters being Nubs, which looks amazing as a Sith with the Sith red eyes. Kip Fisto also got Sithified, but I don't have that many figure, as well as I think Rose, Tico, and some other ones. But mainly is Nubs because I do actually have a minifigure, which looks great with the double-sided cape. And since we're on the topic of Young Jai Adventures, this also got released sort of that same week which is season two of the young giant adventures which i will just like say there is no sets coming out with the new mission robes but nubs looks amazing in those new mission robes now i'm going to start with skeleton crew a actual thing that got talked about during d23 so first the trailer dropped and it's actually officially on the star wars channel but also was played on d23 unlike the mandalorian grogu movie trailer as well as andor season 2 was only played at d23 so i'm not going to fully talk about it because uh, you can obviously watch it for yourself at um the star wars channel but main thing is this image which has two pirates right next to this guy which is i don't remember his first name but he was in Man the mandalorian season three he was van vane and he is a pirate so it does take place around the same time as mandalorian like a little before or after the new republic era so it would make sense and also has that security droid on the side which i think is going to play a part like k2so in this show but not too excited but maybe um Vane maybe makes it a little bit better for me, but not too much. But I'm still comment down below if you're looking forward to this show though. I'm not really after watching the trailer at least, I'm don't really care too much about it. But now something I really do care about, Mandalorian and the Grogu movie. So this trailer has not actually dropped and um and it's only been played at D23, but I'm still going to talk a little bit about it. So, Zeb is going to be in it a lot more. We see him piloting, which another better image here of, I do have the set, the older one, the Razor Crest. So, apparently it's back. I don't know how it's going to be back. I guess it maybe got cloned like Emperor Palpatine. Who knows? But the beautiful legendary ship is back back um it doesn't look like it went through like any destruction at all because it did get completely destroyed but apparently it's all back and it's perfectly fine now maybe it's like the same ship but um like the different type of ship like how there's multiple 
N1 Happy Star Fighters. That they all look the same, but they're different. But for Mando's ship, is kind of different because it has markings on it that aren't really originally honest. And so far, we've only seen one ship that is this model. But nevertheless, it's really cool to see it back. We don't know how it's going to be back. But Zeb is also, and I'll talk more about him in it, which it's honestly great that we're seeing more of him in it. I guess that is what the um, fans are wanting and to see him in the, the big screen on theaters on which the release date also has been officially revealed i believe it is may 22nd 2026 you're gonna be able to watch it in theaters which is great that we actually got the date of that but that's not all in the trailer so originally i think it's supposed to be hoth but in the end of the trailer most of the trailer takes place in hoth so basically manuel and grogu are in hoth and we get to see the return the snow trooper in live action so i kind of spoiled it a little bit but i think it's going to be um hoth at least that's my guess because it's an entire planet and in episode five we've only seen like a very very small part of it because obviously it's an entire planet think about earth and then think about like one state or one country in america obviously like there's you got japan all the way in the other side of the world so you know there can obviously be other places that has been discovered by the empire so there is going to be snow troopers in there and we do see mando and grogu riding an atrt going down a slope and then at the end of them end of the slope we do see some atats like three of them so it is suggesting that it is hoth because we see all those in hoth in episode five so i'm really excited to see the return of the snow trooper and i'm also excited to see some of those sets that come out which most likely are going to be coming out before may 22nd maybe may as a may 1st set or a um, february 7th march set hopefully you get to see some which would be great seeing like an improved razor crest maybe an acrt with an acat that'd be really cool but excited to see that on may 22nd 2026 trailer dropped for andor season two at d23 which obviously you should be really excited about it the trailer isn't that exciting there is going to be um director krennic which was at the end of the trailer, which I think is going to be really nice. It doesn't look like he went through any changes between Andor Season 2 and Rogue One. I know they take place very soon and close together. But also, which wasn't shown in the trailer, I believe, is K2SO, which I'm not sure um, which actor that is going to be. But I'm honestly excited for maybe the origin, like how he got reprogrammed. I think that would be great. And honestly, I'm excited for Andor Season 2, even though the trailer wasn't that cool. It was kind of underwhelming. I believe it's going to be starting, like, the um, Rebel base on Yavin. That would be pretty cool, because I believe it was originally on, like, Dantooine. And then they moved it to um, Yavin as the uh, secret base location. So that's going to be really cool, like, as the start of the Rebellion Andor Season 2. And there's, all a lot, there's obviously a lot of cliffhangers in there. And hopefully it's just... Um, as good as Andor Season 1, honestly. I don't know how they could ruin it. The trailer obviously wasn't that exciting. I think the main one, or the trailer that I was really excited about was Mando. But I think Andor is probably going to beat it in um, like amount of people watching it. And I'm probably more excited for Andor than a Mandalorian Season 2. Skeleton Screw, I'm not too hyped. I'll watch it, but it's kind of like act like, you know. It won't be too exciting. But um, that's all of everything that we got to see at d23 i showed some images hopefully i don't get copyright tracked and um i think i'm pretty excited for most projects i don't think star wars is being like revived now or whatever because i know marvel had like like 15 or something trailers and there's a lot to um unpack there but obviously i'm not a marvel fan kind of a little bit jealous but wow um star wars isn't back but i mean there is a bunch of cool shows there's only like three actual star wars stuff but if you ended up enjoying this video then why not subscribe i post videos every single day hope you all had an amazing day and see y'all in the next one